How's everybody doing today? It is October 25th, and can you believe it? Another storm has now formed and is moving into the Gulf of Mexico and could reach the Gulf Coast by midweek. It literally is showing paths to go directly into the Louisiana area again. If that area is not targeted, then I, I, I guess everything that we've ever done, we're just, we're just nuts because... There is no doubt that this is a targeted area. I don't know exactly why. We know that a lot of it is, you know, you're farming your food and just making people vulnerable over and over again and, you know, forcing people into areas that they want. But there's got to be something even more. And if you have any ideas, leave a comment down below, please. Um, but let's read this real quick. It says, Tropical Storm Zeta forms could reach the U.S. Gulf Coast by midweek. It's from 12 hours ago. It says, a tropical depression east of Mexico strengthened Sunday morning into tropical storm Zeta and could reach the U.S. Gulf Coast by midweek. Zeta could be at or near hurricane strength when it approaches the northern Gulf Coast on Wednesday and could bring storm surge, rainfall, and wind impacts to the areas from Louisiana to the Florida Panhandle. Okay, now I had showed you a couple, um, you know, of the forecast models last week that were showing there was there should have been a hurricane that came into the Gulf. There was, I mean, multiple, you know, forecasts were showing it over and over again. Some were showing it sitting over, you know, down in Cuba, all in that area. And then some were showing it come up, hit in like Tampa, come back down into the Gulf, go up into the Gulf, come back into Tampa. I mean, like there was just some crazy stuff, but they all showed a pretty strong hurricane hitting in the Gulf. And then all of a sudden it was just gone. The one that came up, you know, that stayed over, that literally was pushed and directed directly into Bermuda again, that one was out there, Epsilon, but the other one just kind of disappeared. Nobody, it just kind of went away. And, um, you know, and it was a one-day thing, and it was their main model. The GFS model went from having it showing it a very bad storm hitting Tampa and then kind of moving into the Gulf and coming back into Florida again to the next day it was just completely gone. So uh, I think it just shows more and more how controlled this all is. It says, It is the 27th named storm of the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season, tying the 2005 as the most active hurricane season on record, according to the National Weather Service. I've been screaming this since the beginning. They did this all on purpose. They were naming storms that literally barely reach tropical storm force and some that probably should never have even been named at all. And this was the reason. They've been comparing it to the 2005 se uh, season since the very beginning. Oh, it's been Katrina and Wilma, you know, and Rita. That's what they've been pushing since day one of this hurricane season. I've showed it over and over again. That's psychological warfare. That is fear tactic, okay? It seems to me that they are trying to get as many people completely terrified from one thing or another, whether it is CB or it is, you know, your wildfires, your hurricanes, your, you know, derachios, your flooding, whatever it is, it seems to me that they want people so hurt and so depressed and anxious and, you know, just at a very, very low point, very vulnerable throughout, you know, throughout everywhere. They want that coming into this winter so that when they do do all these lockdowns, which you're already seeing, they are already starting to institute restrictions. And like I said, it's not going to be it where you're going to open up, you know, turn on the news and it's going to say, oh, the United States is completely locked down. It's not how they do it. It will be a step-by-step -step thing where you will not, you know, people won't run out and try to fight against it. Because that, if you turn on TV and it says everything's locked down the entire United States, instantly everybody is going to revolt. That that would happen. You would finally have people fighting back. But when you do a step-by-step -step restriction, oh, well, this city has restrictions, and then it moves up to level 2, level 3, level 4, highest level, just like it's done in England, like I've showed you, and over in Europe, that's how they do it. It's a step-by-step -step progression. It desensitizes you so that you do not freak out. So that's what I feel that they're doing. They're getting everybody as depressed and anxious and just, you know, vulnerable as, as they can be for this coming winter. Prepare and plan, okay? It says, if this makes landfall in Louisiana, Zeta would become the fifth named storm to do so this year, setting a record. See, it's all about setting a record. They have to say that over and over. Even if this does not even do it, they've got to get that out there, okay? It says, Zeta on Sunday morning has sustained winds of 40 miles per hour and was moving north at only one mile per hour. What do you know, right? Another storm that will just sit still. That's what the one last week was showing, the one that was supposed to hit literally yesterday, around the 24th. 
it was showing it just sitting down, you know, are in the Cuba area in the Keys and just kind of sitting down there and moving around as a Cat 4, Cat 5 just sitting for three or four or five days. It was crazy. Thank the Lord that that did not happen, okay? It says the storm was about 295 miles southeast of Cozumel. It says it is forecasted to strengthen and become a hurricane by early Tuesday. You know, they just know everything, too. Uh, Zeta is forecast to make landfall Wednesday between central Louisiana to the Florida Panhandle as a <clears throat> strong tropical storm. But trust me, you remember Michael. We've seen it over and over again. Rapid intensification. They slam these things with directed energy or whatever it is. Overnight, in the middle of the night, you go to bed, it's a tropical storm, you wake up, and it's a cat four. So you cannot let your guard down. I don't care if it's almost November. The season technically goes to November 30th, and they're going to continue to say that too, because I don't think they're done. I think we could have a very, you know, a, a strong storm in November this year. I just feel like it would be perfect for their plan with everything they have going on with the election, the lockdowns, everything else with CV getting so bad according to them. All of that just feels like they could really hit us with a few non-natural disasters as I'm going to continue to call them in November, mid-November. Okay, so be prepared, all right? It says, while the current NHC forecast indicates the system should weaken below hurricane strength before landfall, users are reminded that strong tropical storms can still produce significant storm surge, rainfall, and wind impacts along the northern Gulf Coast, the National Hurricane Center said Sunday. Yeah, see? It's like, oh, well, don't, you know, it, it could still get really, really bad. You know, it's like, uh, come on, right? We know what's going on. We know what you're doing. And... These are just extremely important videos that I have to put out. And I'm going to end this here so I can get it edited, get it out to you. You can get it out to your friends, your family, and if you know anybody in the area, please let them know. Everybody stay strong, stay safe, continue to pray against this evil that is literally attacking us everywhere. Every single day at all angles. That's why you need your faith now more than ever. If I did not have my faith, if I did not know... That at all times, Jesus has my back. I could not do this. That's all there is to it. I, I, and I just pray that if you have not done so, you hit your knees, ask for forgiveness. And I promise you, this is the one thing that I can guarantee you. This is about the only thing I can guarantee you. You will not regret it. If you have a relationship with God, you will not. You won't. You will never regret it. Okay? Everybody... Stay safe, stay strong, no panic, no fear. We're just talking about the information here. Do not let anything that I cover and talk to you about cause fear or panic into you. That is not what this is about. This is about preparation and making sure you have a plan. We'll talk to you all soon. God bless.